Hello, I would like to show you about the DGM uh, package, or it's actually an R package and C++ program combined. Um, so it has both, so, uh, so this is clearly an R thing. So I'll show you first the C++ part of it. So in Qt Creator or whatever, you open your project, you go to DGM, you go to the CPP files, and there we see Ali Gui, uh, named after the uh, master student. And if you run that, that's a, I think the nicest introduction to what the program does. Uh, it's the thing that got the most attention as well. Uh, so it needs to build a bit. So what we see here is at the left we have all the parameters that are needed. Cladogenesis Island, Mainland, Anogenesis, Extinction on the Island, extinction on the mainland. This is exactly the, the novel part about DGM. Uh, the migration to the island, carrying capacity on the island, carrying capacity on the mainland, random number generator seed, the initial number of clades, initial number of oh num initial number of mainland clades, initial number of mainland species, and the crownate or the, or how long the simulation will run. So um, I use a parameter set two, it fills in things. And um, note I don't run uh, I don't run Daisy. I'll just click start, and what it will then show is a, a lot of uh, a couple of things. So here we can see the community composition over time. So, for example, on the mainland there are some species like here, like approximately around six. On the island there are more and more species uh, going here. There's some species that are island only. Uh, so if you want to look for that or both, so that are at the island and mainland, and it also takes into it counts the number of extinct species. Also the rates, so the rate of anagenesis, cladogenesis globally on island, globally on the mainland, cladogenesis uh, on the island only, cladogenesis on the mainland only. So this is perhaps a bit of a weird cladogenesis rate globally on the mainland. So that means I think. It's a cladogenesis rate that's, um, that takes into account all species globally, but taking its effect on the mainland. I'm not exactly sure how that worked anymore. Uh, extinction rate also has the same thing, and there's a migration rate to an island. All right, it shows, and here it shows the content of some files. Uh, this is the parameter file. Uh, this is exactly how it's saved to disk. This is the, the thing in which everything happens. The ID of the species, I think, parent ID, time of birth on the mainland, time of birth on the island, time of extinction if needed on the mainland, extinction time on the island if uh, at all, time of colonization and the clade ID. And um, the most important thing that Dejam does is it converts this into a daisy input file. So this is how a daisy input file looks like and it's a very simple one else it would take too long to run. And there are two scenarios, ideal and reality. And I think in ideal we have complete information about uh, immigration and re-immigration, whereas in reality we only have information about the last migration event. As far as I can see I don't remember completely. I could also click run daisy, that means that it will not only create these files, but also run daisy on this. I'll just run it, and I don't know how long it uh, will last, well, it's zero seconds, or it's, it's not very long. Uh, apparently I haven't got daisy installed. Uh, but we can do exactly the same thing on in R. So in R there's the DGM package, and I'm just going to run the, uh, the vignette. So uh, I didn't put much uh, effort in, uh, in in the R uh, functions. So uh, these are all the parameters you've just seen, so you need to include the library. Uh, there are some files you need, and these are exactly the files that we've seen the content of. So these are the DGM parameters file name, uh, which creates the first one at the top, so this is that file. Anogenesis, per species rate, cladogenesis rate, island, also per species rate, extinction rate, island, per species rate, extinction mainland, migration to island, per species rate, carrying capacity, island, carrying capacity, mainland, random number generator seed, initial number of main clades, initial number of main species, crown age again, and here I have again some file names. So the so here are the simulation results, so the daisy simulation results. 
uh, file name. So that's the simulation that's here. So this is the simulation. That's all the event that took place. Then we have the DAISY input ideal and reality. So these are the files. So one of the files does this one. The other file does that one. So from the same scenario, ideal means that you know uh, the earlier events as far as I remember. Whereas reality is the thing we will, uh, which we can only, which we will in reality observe. Like we cannot see the first time of migration. Usually we just see the last one or, or something like in that uh, in that idea. And also the these ideal and re real um, input files can be used also run and daisy. So I'm going to set run daisy to false. Um, so that means that there the output file names are. So if it's run, it will get a name. So if you put these output file names to to nothing to an empty string, it won't run the simulation. I think I'm not sure. So this is how you run a daisy simulation. These are just uh, yeah all the parameters with the file names as well, and the output will all be written to these file names. So also for example the dgm parameters file name that just shows the, the parameters file name here it's just temporary you don't usually care so it's usually fine to keep it as a temporary file but if you want to see what's in or want to keep it then you store it in another location so this is how it looks like here this is the simulation this is all the events that happened these are um, so this is the daisy input uh, when the ideal scenario and this is the reality so you see that not much happened here. Uh, it's very dull, and uh, because I couldn't find uh, the coolest parameters to to show, and here you can run Daisy, and it will um, it will show the output of Daisy, like the parameter estimates. All right, so that shows how to use Daisy, and I wish you a very nice day. Bye.